hello so welcome to my channel my name is kayla and if you are a lover of natural hair fashion beauty and lifestyle make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos to come and follow me on instagram at the okay kayla so in today's video i'm going to be dyeing my hair with temporary dye and honestly it's really called hair makeup and it's by curl smith and i got it in the color gold let's see if it'll focus that I'll show you guys a side by side, but this is 100% vegan and I actually did my last video on the Curlsmith brand and I gave those two products a 7 out of 10 so I want to go in and try hair makeup and this is essentially hair wax paint. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and YouTube and this is just perfect for someone who wants to kind of test a certain color on your hair without it being permanent, you know, and it comes off in one wash or at least claims to come out in one wash. So this is 100% vegan like I said and it is made with pineapple dandelion lemon peel and goldenrod for the color gold and it claims to be for all hair types or hair um for all hair colors so even if you have hair color in your hair you definitely can use this um no gloves needed rinses out in one wash and it's transfer resistant so i've already done the back section and defined it and added a few pieces because the look i'm going for you guys is like the pintura highlights you know just Little pops of color here and there. I didn't want to do my whole head. I felt like it was just kind of safe for me to test it out using the whole Pintura highlight technique. So that's exactly what I did. Now before I go in and show you guys a demo of how I apply it, I wanted to share with you that I did go in and shampoo my hair with Curl Smith Shampoo. Now like I said, this is part of that collection that I used on my last video. Um, and that was with, you know, just the gel and conditioner to kind of see how my wash and go would look with that, which I gave it a 7 out of 10. I liked it. Um, but if you have a little bit of more of like a finer hair texture you might really enjoy that so make sure you guys check that video out but this is kind of up there in price range but again because it's a shampoo shampoo is going to last in my stash for a good six months honestly so i think it's worth it so this is the curl smith core strength shampoo and then i went in and deep conditioned my hair with the african pride moisture miracle moroccan clay and shea butter heat activated mask this is one of my favorite masks ever i um, just left this in my hair for about um, 30 minutes uh, which is the longest that it says to leave it in which you know i follow directions and i did that and my hair was moisturized and good to go so this wash and go is a little bit different as far as my product combo again everything that i'm using i'll put in the description box down below so what i did as my base is i went in with the african pride moisture miracle coconut milk and honey leave-in conditioner and this is my liquid base and then i'm defining my curls with the african pride moisture miracle shea butter and flexi curling cream this product smells so good like i literally wish you could smell it through the screen and then i'm defining my curls with the cream of nature moisture and twist curling mousse now this is from the honey collection this also smells great as well so just to show you guys what i'm working with already this is how much i've done now i've already said that i feel like my hair is very very deceiving when it's like wet or even in that dry stage because it's not that full fro yet but we'll get there and i'll do a separate video of me showing you guys how to diffuse it but i kind of went in and just picked certain curls to rub this color through now i will say as far as it washing off easily it washed off my hands easily because i already did this back section like i said so i'm excited about that now what i plan on doing is showing you guys throughout the days to come how it holds up i saw where a lot of people said they got a good week out of the color um it doesn't fade onto their sheets or pillowcase i should say which is good doesn't get onto their clothes which is also another good sign so i'm going to show you guys how i basically paint my hair Okay, so after I define this section, this is how it looks. And I'm going to go in and start adding the hair makeup or hair wax paint. Now, what I like to do is literally just pour out a little bit, like just a pea size amount like this. Let's see if the camera will focus. Literally 
it won't focus okay but literally just <laughs> this much now when i showed you guys the bottom section i try not to paint too much and again this is just a three fluid ounce bottle so i try not to paint too much under it uh and you know in the bottom section because that's not going to be as visible now this top layer is going to be super visible so i'm going to paint a little bit more and a lot higher instead of just like the bottom pieces so for example with the pintor highlights they literally take a strand and paint it so i'm just going to rub it in between two fingers and i'm going to start up about this high and rub that down now you are going to kind of have to go back in and put some more so it'll be vibrant now the cool thing about this is once it dries it'll be it's like true color but also as I dry it, I'm probably going to add a little bit more just so it can be a little bit more vibrant. And I do feel like it's kind of not showing up as vibrant right now because the hair is still wet. So it's kind of just gliding off on my finger too at the same time. But boom, there goes one. Now I'm just going to paint more. Now I'm not going to do every single curl like I said because it's just highlight. So I'm just randomly selecting certain strands to paint and yeah. That's pretty much all I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alright, so I have the back section done. The black to little gold strain ratio looks pretty good so now i'm going to proceed to define the front section and then show you guys how it looks done while it's wet Alrighty, you guys, I am done defining my hair. I am super excited to see how this is going to turn out when it is finally dry. I will say I have quite a bit left in that bottle. <laughs> I'm not going to let it dry like this, you guys. I just literally just finished defining it. But I just wanted to show you a whole new area view of how it looks. That's the back. Now I'm going to show you guys in a separate video of how I diffuse my hair in uh, depth, so stay tuned for that. But like I said, I still have quite a bit left in this 3 fluid ounce bottle. And that makes sense because, I mean, I only did highlights, which is why I wanted to try it out that way. Because I wasn't too confident in, one, doing my whole head because, again, I just wanted to test this out. And then I don't even know if this would be enough for my whole head. So... You definitely can try if you have shorter hair for your whole head that might work but i'm really impressed with how this looks already and plus it's my first time doing this product combo so this is just like a whole experiment in itself and just to show you guys it really didn't even stain my nails at all i just washed my hands off with um some soap and water which is good so yeah i'm gonna dry this bad boy and show you guys how it looks all done and dry Alrighty, you guys it is the next day my hair is 100 percent dry now i did go out earlier so um you know just to see what the real wear time would look like so we are looking at 10 hours of wear on the first day my hair like i said is 100 dry now i did make a separate video on how i diffuse my hair so make sure you guys check that out and one thing i can go ahead and tell you guys is because my hair is naturally dark it still gives me yellow tones now as it was drying i was really kind of expecting more of like a blondish brown look which is okay cool because i mean the color is literally gold you know what i mean and it has like gold glittery tones to it so i'm not too mad at that i totally get it now if your hair is on the lighter brown side or the sandy color side it probably will show up as blonde on your hair now what i probably should have done is go with the color copper which would probably give me a nice um you know brown 
sandy tone look on my hair so i think it still is pretty cool with the simple fact that this is 100 percent vegan and it rinses out in um one rinse which is really great and it doesn't really transfer that bad you guys so i will say that um i tied my hair down up in a scarf to go to bed it didn't get on my pillow and i mean granted my hair was covered and just to show you it did kind of transfer on my diffuser now i kind of figured it was going to do that off the simple fact that my hair was slightly damp as i was diffusing it and also because the heat maybe you know made it transfer onto here but again no issue with that really so it's not really a con because we really can just wipe it off and we're good to go now because i like to say i have the hands and hair syndrome and i'm constantly going like this throughout the day i did notice some gold flakes kind of like you know fly around or you know get on my hands which it really isn't picking up on camera but i can see it on my nails or my fingertips and it's still not that bad it's not to where like oh my gosh like what is that paint on your hands it's just that i can see glitter tones on my fingers which is fine with me and then also i will say that it doesn't get on your clothes which is great and I did have a lot on the tips so I was kind of expecting it to be all on my shirt which it wasn't I drove around today it wasn't on my car seat or you know headrest none of that so as far as it being transfer proof it is and I love that so this is something you guys really should get your hands on now, like I said there are a variety of other colors they have rose gold blue and red and I'm thinking red probably would have looked really cute on me too so I might try that pretty soon but I'm still going to film throughout the days just to kind of see how it gets to at least maybe the third or fourth day to see if it kind of fades or anything but yeah I'm loving it on the first day this is a great an easy alternative to trying out some new colors you know especially with it just being temporary so if you want to just do this for one event and wash it out you are good to go like this is your go-to product and with it being only three fluid ounces I still think it was great um because I just you know tried highlights now if you're gonna do your whole head and you have a lot of hair you might use a little bit of that product not gonna lie you probably would use the whole bottle but um if you just want a few little highlights or tips that three fluid ounce bottle is going to get the job done. So I'm really impressed. Again, this is first day hair. Let's check back in as the days go on. Boom, this is third day hair, you guys. Honestly, I feel like nothing beats third day hair. My fro looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it on third day hair. Um, I did pick it out some more, like, last night on second day hair. Just so it can kind of, like, just be super big today. Went out in the city, and my hair held up pretty well. Now, I will say that the color starts to fade off. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, it doesn't look as vibrant as it did on first day. Which, I mean, granted, I kind of figured that with it being wax paint or hair makeup. So, cool beans, you know. Like I said, if you are someone who has super dark hair like me, I would suggest going with the copper color. If you kind of want that blonde highlight color because the gold is giving me very yellow tones. But if you have lighter hair, it's probably going to look better on lighter or sandy brown or sandy-ish color hair. But I also will say that the more I touch it or when I, you know, dab some oil on it, it does kind of rub off on my hands, but it does not get on my clothes. So it's not an extreme color transfer. But again, this is the Curl Smith hair makeup. And I have it in the color gold. Three fluid ounce bottle. Retails for $19.99 at Ulta Beauty. Make sure you guys check this out. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button okay and follow me on instagram at the okay kayla and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye